Yeah, sometimes it's just about finding a way. Um, we, we looked like uh, we did lack a bit of co cohesion, but I think the players were working hard. <coughs> I thought the first quarter we, we did really well. Um, scored a couple of really nice tries. I thought Joey was it was a bit special the way he cut the line and, and got that pass uh, superbly into the hands of Darren Sweetnam, who, who finished comfortably, and, and then Dave Carney got in the other corner. Uh, pretty tough kicks for him from the edge. So, you know, to get those 10 points was, was great. Um, and uh, a fair bit of pressure from our defence um, gave, gave us the opportunity with a bit of loose ball and Jack Conan didn't need too many invitations. He's a good athlete and got away and scored. And at 17-3, with a line out just before half time, you know, I, I think I was really happy that we'd, uh, we'd worked our way through to that. And um, that line-out got turned over on their 22, and they, uh, they got away down that left-hand touch. And I, I thought Nandolo, you know, a lot of people look at the size and stature of the man, but it, he has that really deft left foot. Um, his his uh, kick along the ground there, his grubber kick, was weighted to perfection. And um, Sini Loli uh, finished it, um, and suddenly it's 17-10, and it's a one-score game. and. You know, you, you feel a bit of that pressure, especially when it's a it's a young side, and that was that was great for us because that's it's exactly what we wanted, but we didn't want it in a lot of other ways because we wanted to see the players react under pressure. And when it got to 17 all or t 20 all, um, you know, again they, they really had to find a way. I thought Jordy was probably a little bit unlucky; he got called for that offside. Uh, it looked like a, a boot. He picked the ball up right, but a boot got caught, um, and uh, so then he had to second grab it, and uh, it was a it was a call from the other side of the pitch. So you get that though, and when the score gets that close, that's the sort of thing that can cost you. But um, we uh, we stayed kind of uh, stayed calm enough to control that that last sort of ten minutes. I thought Ian Keatley came in and did a really good job, kicked the two goals that we needed. Uh, particularly the second, the second kick, he struck really well um, and, and put a couple of angled kicks in that, that allowed us to turn them around and, and keep them down in their own territory. Not that they're not dangerous from there because um, you know they can break out at any time. Joey, uh, Joey said Joey Carby looks or appeared to have broken his arm. Is that the case, or is there any update on that? Yeah, I think uh, I think he's fractured his left forearm, um, so. It, it's undisplaced, as far as I know, um, and, and we'll update it on Monday. But um, I, I can't absolutely confirm that, but that's, that appears to be the case. And, um, you know, that, that will mean that he won't take any further part in the Guinness series for us. Can you analyze his performance? Because there was so much good things he did, obviously. But him being the number one 10 and after starting the time in the position, thing, you break through what you saw? I thought his ability to organise others is, is coming along. I think that's one of the biggest responsibilities of a 10. That, you know, I think his own game was really good. I thought his cross kick to Dave Carney from his own 22 was pinpoint perfect. Uh, we didn't maximise on the back of it, but uh, you know, just his, his vision is really good. Uh, there's the, the kick where we thought we'd got away and scored and, and Andrew Conway got his hand to. Um, you know, again, it was it was really well uh, placed for us to be competitive up at it. But uh, his his passing game, I, as I said, the pass to Darren Sweetnam, I don't think you'd see a a, a much more accurate uh, pass. And um, the threat he poses at the line himself, I thought he ducked and dive and and asked a few questions of the Fijian defence, and he, he's brave potentially to a fault. Uh, because he, he takes no heed of who's in front of him. If there's a half half a space or things have been closed down outside him, he, he'll take the responsibility of carrying the ball. He's gone for a while, but is there anything you can do now with the, the ongoing problem with him playing fullback? And when you, the value obviously of him getting more time at half is obvious. Yeah, look, it, it is what it is. You know, it's an unfortunate situation for uh, for us, but I, I totally understand. You know. It, They've got Johnny Sexton at Leinster, he, he plays, and um, Rob Carney was injured, so Joey was, had taken the responsibility of fullback, and 
you know, I just appreciate that he gets game time, and and so he, he's in good, um, he's in good condition to play. Uh, yeah, I'd love to see him play ten more often. I I think that would help his development, but uh, I also know it's a needs must situation, and there are some really competitive games coming up. Uh, that you know he he is such a good. Uh, you know, young player, but he's, he's such a, a team orientated character, he, he would play anywhere. And um, he'll continue to do that if it's the best for the team, and uh, I totally understand that. <clears throat> um, I, I, I don't think there's too much else. Uh, there's a few bumps and bruises, there were some quite big hits out, out there. Obviously, uh, Ken is a little bit sore, um, but I, I think. I think everyone else came through reasonably well. I think Reese is a little bit sore, but um, it is only soreness. I think Joey is the only is the only injury that will um, cause him not to be involved next weekend. What did you make of the instruction to try a few more riskier looking passes? Not really. You saw what happened when uh, Nanguda um, intercepted the one off uh, off Dave Carney. Um, we knew that they would get into the passing channel, and uh, that that's always a risk because they they get up past your your attacking line. So, uh, you know, there was a, there was a few there was a few <coughs> certainly a few offloads that we tried, and um, unfortunately a number of them created turnovers. One off the ground from Andrew Conway, another one from Sue McCloskey that went straight into touch, another one from Jack McGrath after he'd intercepted one of theirs, he he, he lobbed it back to them. Uh, th those sort of things are, are frustrating because you can't invite Fijian players into the game like that. They're too athletic, they're too quick to seize upon those opportunities. And as I said, we we played a line out around the front at one end and uh, lost the ball and they scored at the other end just before half time when you know, it would have been great to go into the half with that 17-3 cushion that, that would work quite hard to, to earn. Joe, what do you make of Chris Farrell on this stadium? Yeah, I thought Chris was really solid. Um, you know, he, he, he squared up. He got a couple of balls <coughs> that he got the man at the same time. And the man was big and very uh, aggressive. And I thought he coped incredibly well. He's a big, strong man himself. And, uh, you know, he looked after the ball well. He, uh, he defended well. I think we did get a bit narrow defensively at times. And, uh, and that made his job a little bit harder, connecting back to the edge. But... Uh, yeah, I thought it was a good, solid hit out for his first his first test match. Andrew Conway was obviously man of the match. Has he done enough now to kind of force himself into that uh, debate uh, for the for the next couple of games? Yeah, obviously he started uh, last week as well. He was one of the few that that backed up, and again he, he's so industrious. He, he reads the game well, uh, and he's brave to a fault. Um, he 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 competes for everything in the air. <coughs> He's quick to seize upon ball that's on the ground, and his acceleration makes him a real running threat whenever he's uh, whenever he's got a bit of time and space. And I, I thought he he really threatened the Fijian line a few times tonight, and uh, and asked a few questions of them. Uh, yeah, it was tough. Uh, very physical, um, probably frustrating at times due to some of the errors which Joe spoke about. We. We knew that handing them uh, opportunities with ball in hand off uh, unstructured play would be uh, inviting them into the game and through our own fault we probably uh, did that a little more often than we would have uh, liked to. Um, but obviously pleasing to get the result at the end of it and uh, show some character to dig in and uh, get the scores we needed at the end.